What do you think, Dick? New competition, same success? Let's hope so, because the loser gets to watch from the stands after this third round game between the Texas A&M Aggies and the Duke Blue Devils. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Blue Devils might have a little trouble with these guys, Dick. Keys to their success depends on what? Hey, the keys to their success tonight are simple. Number one, make their outside shooters into drivers. Attack them, be aggressive on the D. Secondly, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. And finally, make your team think defense first. Solid defense will lead to good offense. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action, see what's in store for us. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. He puts up the tray. Frierson was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. Both teams looking to get things going here. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Number 34 makes the shot. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. For the bucket. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Jumps into the defender. Look at that time. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> the shooting guard handles the feed. Trying to go inside. For two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Oh, hard screen set on the defender. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Dumps it in. Entry pass and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crap. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Frierson receives the pass. On the outside. He shoots from the top of the key. Knocks it down. Trying to feed inside. Tries to get the D to bite. He makes a nice shot fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. And up and sinks the shot. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. They've left him completely alone. The ball goes out of bounds. He's got a high post flasher. They look to get it to the inside. The point guard handles the pass. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handle. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Now they work it around the perimeter. He dials long distance. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. In the paint. Pushing that basketball. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Oh. 
showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. For the bucket. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's a one-man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. For two, in and out. The senior's going to take a trip to the line and get the basket, Dick. That senior's determination in a big game, Brad. The Blue Devils go to the line for the first time in this game. Nope. He takes the board. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Boy, terrible execution on offense. They'll work it around the arc. That's a foul. And there's a defender flop, and he's going to pick up the foul. Well, he's trying to take the charge, but he's really acting. Good call by the official. The center receives the ball. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We've got a good one going. The defender is still applying great blow pressure, Brad. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. The Blue Devils have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Nobody inside. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams looking to get things going here. Looks at the three. Off the mark with that shot. perimeter and a shot block what an unbelievable play rotating over and it's in and out isolated on the outside they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper takes the pass in the paint and the fans love it jump with John man Tries the three ball, way off target. They work the perimeter. He launches the bomb. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Trying to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. Looking for a good shot. The skip pass is picked off. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Transition opportunity coming up. Drops the bucket despite the harm.
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Here's a flash from the post up high. Had a guy in the post, but with a rejection. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He takes the shot from the baseline. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Spacing. With a deep shot from outside. He buries the shot. Vicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass they're working around the arc kicks it out excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards like they have yeah that helps An open guy in the post and went the other way. Up and inside. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turn up. That bucket counts and he'll go to the line. Hey, excellent job there. Drawing the foul and finishing the hoop. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the taunting. This is the team's first trip to the free-throw line. He buries it. The ACC has always been a powerful conference. Hey, witnessing some good old ACC basketball here. These ACC teams are known for their up-tempo, fast-paced, and aggressive style of play. Very difficult to keep up with them. That's an 8-0 run. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. A great double team, really explosive. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Pump fakes. They move it into the front court from the top of the key. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Time to pick up the defense here now. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. He gets the bucket. Oh, poor 
job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. The Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. The ball goes out of play. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And the slam. The Aggies have a mismatch in the post. Can they get them the ball, though? They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. He takes the shot off the baseline. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Foul called off the pro hop. The defender was caught at the wrong place at the wrong time, Dick. Now check him out. Who would have thought with the cheerleaders? Come on. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. He goes to the line, shooting two. First shot, good. Second one is good. Defense doing a great job pushing the basketball. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Buried it. Now they work it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He up fakes. And he'll kick it back outside. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball in there. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket, perfectly executed. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Looking for contact. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? He hits the tough shot. Dante's not going to down with ease, Brad. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Puts it up, looking for contact. Picks off the lazy pass. Try 
Fires a three. Got it. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. That's a high post screen, goes to the lane. He rips the Nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. up on top the kick out fakes a jumper lobs it inside launches away that comes off might have been some contact on the shot on the outside for two great play to take that to the basket Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He launches a three. He can't miss. And this young man's feeling it, Brad. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Steals the pass. perimeter there's the fake that spin moves not gonna work against this defense that's a no-no baby defensive player beats him to the spot Duke have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense Dick they're really on a nice run right here and now they'll bring it up stolen away I think they're trying to make a statement Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Trying to draw some contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Two. Doesn't go. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Up fake. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Shot clock is dead. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's check out this replay, Brad. Plan is feeling good. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. Let's face it. He shoots from right of the circle. The Aggies have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. That he's on fire. Off the rim and no good. At the half, the Blue Devils are up by seven. 
Nick, what would you say is the play of the half in this tightly knit affair? Well, the trifecta like we see here was and will be a part of the story of this game. We'll have to keep an eye on which team gets it going from out there in the second half. It's time to get back to the court, Nick, and see how this second half plays out. Duke drilled in a whole bunch of three-point baskets in the first half of this ball game, Dick. Hey, they did it with tremendous ball rotation and shot execution. It was a thing of beauty to watch. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Okay, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Fakes the shot. Controlling the ball. For two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. And she's got a score for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. They're working around the arc. He gives him the fake. For the deuce. They still don't score. They're working around the perimeter. He attempts the trifecta. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. The center with the ball. Off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. The power forward takes the pass. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. That's a 7-0 run. Jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. He shoots from outside. He drains the bucket. The Blue Devils are up by 15. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He knocks down another bucket. Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. On the outside, the small forward gets the ball. There they come with a double team to stop it. The Blue Devils have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. On the inside, gets it back out. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Picks off the pass. Goes up for two. Up. Easy one. For the bucket. And he missed. He cashed in on the layup and gets the foul. He knew he was going to get fouled, Brad, but he took the hit like a man. He steps up to the line. Hits that one.
Got the high pick. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Looks the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15. He blocks the shot. Working it around the perimeter. He unloads a three. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. For two, the Aggies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. And he's on fire. Up and inside. Let's it fly. The shot's off target. It drops. He came up with a layup after he was fouled in the air. He deserves a standing O for that one. That was beautiful. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Picks off the pass. Work it inside and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. They'll work it around the arc. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Shoots. Rims out. Goes up for two. He makes the shot. The Aggies trail by 17. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball. Seals the defense off and explodes to the basket. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. And a momentary look from three-point land. Great shot block right there. He had some good movement on the offensive side. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Duke are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Jumps in, and he scores despite the hack. We got to roll that one back. Defensively, they just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Gave it up. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Jump hook from the low post. I'll tell you, a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. 
And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Tries for two. And the ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, what a turn of events down here on the sidelines. The coaches and the players, they are feeling the heat. The message from the bench, defensive stops and do it now. All right, thanks, Aaron. Hey, he's got hops like you, man. He's got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. <laughs> he attempts the three. Off the rim and no good. The point guard gets the pass. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Moving it around the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. And we'll go to the free throw line. No doubt about it. That's seven on answer. Gets two at the charity strike. That's an eight zip run. For the deuce. Perfectly executed. The center takes the feed. Hard foul. That's probably why you're on a coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. the rock out of there. They're working around the perimeter. Got a man in high post. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. With a fadeaway jumper, look at that follow through. The Blue Devils have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. <laughs> Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. The Aggies have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And, he and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The Aggies are behind by 11. Spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important than talented guards right there. Yeah, that helps. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Outside. 
Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Working it around the perimeter. He looks for three. Got it. He fouled him. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Number 15 checks in off the pine for his first action. Hey, this guy will tear it up if you let him, Brad. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big close player. Very difficult to block that shot. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. The Aggies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Puts it up. Tickles a twine. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. He's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Two shots. Makes his first. Makes his second shot. The Aggies are behind by seven. Two, easy one. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. This whole team that's on the floor is quick, but so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. like that, it's automatic. And a momentary look from three-point land. He hammers it home. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. In the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Texas AM are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to look on offense. The crowd will be on cloud nine if they can put some points up on the board. Picked off. Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. Great defense. 
Nick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Crum picks up the defensive foul. Second personal foul. He'll attempt two shots. It's good. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Nick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Fakes it. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Number 55 gets his first minute. Very strategic substitution, Brad. Good decision by the coach. Misses his first shot. Gets his second. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Double team now, bad angle. Strips the ball. They run it up into transition. Tries for two. Moving it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He takes it away. Looking for a good shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. For two, he nails the shot. Here's a double team. He lets it go. He gets it to fall. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Shoots it. Drains the shot. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. He wants a three. The Aggies have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. That he's on fire. On the dribble, gives it up. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Now they work it around the perimeter. They work
working around the perimeter. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Gave it up. He takes the shot. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. I tell you, it's time to start fouling in order to stop the clock. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. He makes the front end of the one and one. Gets it. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Coming out of the timeout, I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. Dick, what do you do with a seven-point lead? Hey, they keep playing and continue to... He gets the rejection. The ball goes out of bounds. He shoots from long range. He shows the sweet touch. Pushes it up with a quarterback pass. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And the clock stopped with a foul. He goes to the line for the first time. He makes the front end of the one and one. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Second one is no good. You don't need the desperation three. It's a two-possession game. They have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. To the line. He makes the front end of the one and one. Hits the second. It's a four point game. This one could go either way. Don't give up your seat. They work the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. Better foul quick. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. With the free one. Sinks it. Second one, good. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, EA? Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. 
The players got a much needed breather with that timeout. I knew this was going to be a dandy, baby. The lead is down to three. He goes for three. He gets the bucket. timeout as play resumes. Dick, looks like we're staying for a while. I'm not going anywhere. This is what it's all about, Mr. Nestle. Add extra time to the clock. At the end of regulation, these teams are all even. Dick, this is everything we could ask for. It's everything the basketball fans across the country can ask for. NCAA tournament game and overtime. I tell you, we got two evenly matched clubs that have really responded. The PT peers are playing well. The stars, the coaches have their teams prepared. And it's all going to get down, I believe, to the free throw line at the end of this game. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact ground on the defensive player. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. The Aggies have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Look at that spacing. Fakes the shot. He was hit in midair, but he still laid the ball in. This kid can play, Brian. He goes as hard to the rack as anybody out there. He has one shot. Sinks it. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. the deuce. The Aggies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. And he's on fire. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He buries it. Cue the rewind button, boys. trigger. He drains the bucket. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. There's the trap. Takes it off him. On the dribble, gives it up. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Take it away. He's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Goes up for two. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Jumped in front to take it away. For the bucket. 
The Aggies to find a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep hitting the ball. It's simple. Let's get back out on the floor. That brings the lead to eight points, Nick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. He fires away. Good. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Sets the screen for his teammate. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He comes away with it. The timeout on the floor, and that gives us a break. We go courtside. Here's Aaron. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Back to the action now in the half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. They should try for an early foul here. They need to score here to turn this into a one-possession game. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Wow, man, that stops the clock again. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. He makes the second shot. They can make it very interesting with a score here. He unloads. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled like I am. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Makes the second. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. after that time out there. That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. Shoots it. He can't get the bucket to fall. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers miss opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. from long range. Rims out. 
Dick, you've said it so many times, survive in advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Texas A&M makes it three in a row with an impressive third-round victory. Hey, the way they're playing, Brad, this team is going to be hard to deal with entering the Elite Eight. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.